Yes, kids, on a dark and stormy night, Dino Dad, Dino Mom, all of them dinosaurs, Dino Boy, Dino Girl, along with charming Dino Baby, fell dead because of the random impact of a huge, splendid, blazing meteorite. Miss Cather, could I have a meteorite? Dad, look, a falling star. Make a wish. Well, I'd like to... Run, Star! Whoa! Visible or invisible. Hmm? Come in, Mr. Morton. Everyone else has left. We're alone. The meteorite is on display in the exhibition hall. Everything's ready for tomorrow's presentation. I hope you're right about what you told me. I'm only interested in the strange high-frequency radiation the scientists have detected. Of course, they haven't been able to classify its composition yet, but whatever it is, there's nothing like it on the planet. The radiation it emits has us all a bit on edge. If that's true, you'll receive the juicy reward, I promised you. Thank you, Mr. Morton. I guess I'd better get going. No one must connect me to the theft, and you should be quick about it. You have just enough time before the alarm detects your presence. Don't you worry about that. This marvel will be all mine. <laughs> they were stupid to deny it to me for my research on high-frequency energy. And it might just be the key that allows me to conclude my experiments to be the living master of all types of energy. <laughs> What's happening? Whoa, something's wrong. I feel weak. The rock is absorbing my supernatural energy. I was right. I need to experiment with this jewel as soon as possible. Maybe this can be the solution that can get rid of the invisible man. I must go, but I know someone who can get this for me without anyone being the wiser. The scientific community is in shock following the discovery of a meteorite in a forest in Etoria. Initial research indicates that it contains an unknown metal. Heads of industry the world over, including Magnopolis's Wallace Morton, have shown great interest in this discovery. Whoa! Adam and Linda are on TV! That's awesome! This meteorite could be the key to innumerable scientific advances. Wow, the design of this institute is incredible! You're right, it really is impressive. It'd be great to work in a place like this. Hmm? I don't know if the public's allowed to visit the other halls, though.
can't believe that! I think I'd better investigate this as the Invisible Man. Hey! Huh? It's about time everyone got to know Reflexia! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's incredible! A mysterious character who calls herself Reflexia ah! has just appeared in the walls of the Great Hall and has attacked the security agent. Hey! Don't forget to tell them that nothing can stop me! Oh, nobody can do anything against my powerful reflection. Quick, meteorite! I'd better get it to a safe place. Linda! No! Oh, I hope she's all right. Must be the invisible man. Whoever you are, you'll pay dearly for this, I swear it. Oh, will I? Well, then tell me how, Mr. No Reflection Man. Hmm. Yeah. Hey! You're the girl I saw earlier. You go in and out of mirrors. <sighs> what? What's happening? I feel so strange. Hmm, interesting. What happened to me? I'm visible again. Huh? Linda, are you all right? Speak to me. It's been hours since Reflexia stole the meteorite. What's taking her so long to bring it back to me? I wouldn't worry, sir. No one would dare fail the all-powerful Wallace Morton. I hope it doesn't occur to her to try and double-cross me. How could you think something like that about me, Mr. Morton? Well done, my dear Reflexia. It was a cinch. Now, about my money. Don't worry, dear friend. You'll get it, and soon. Well, I should hope so. Anyway, it's not as though you have a choice. I still have the meteorite. But I was the one who contracted you to carry out the theft. So the meteorite belongs to me! Well, just take it then. Make yourself at home. <laughs> I think I know why you want this meteorite so much, Morton. Perhaps it's because you count on it to defeat the Invisible Man. Indeed, it appears to affect him strangely. And how do I know that? I ran into him at the Institute. That's why you need to penetrate the rock's secret, and you need me to protect it for you. You'll get paid, Reflexia, but I'd advise you against playing your little games with me. Nobody laughs at Mr. Forrest Morton and gets away with it, Reflexia. For me, a reflection must be loyal. If not... Think about a new price. <laughs> this meteorite is worth much more than what you offered me for it. I'll be back once you've thought it over. <laughs> for the time being, we do not have any leads. But we're taking every clue we have very seriously. Witnesses confirm they have seen the Mirror Girl at the Institute, and our special services are doing the follow-up on this information. This Mirror Girl may be a close relative of the Invisible Man's, perhaps his sister or second cousin, or possibly his aunt by marriage. I saw her as clearly as I see you now, a blue girl with long, crazy hair. Strange as it may seem, she only existed in the mirrors. That villain uses reflective surfaces the way I use aero taxis. I didn't see anything. <laughs> of course you didn't see anything. You never see anything. It's like everyone's invisible in your eyes. If I had to count on you, who knows what state I'd be in now. What makes you say that? If you had helped me, I wouldn't have got hit, and my leg wouldn't hurt so much, and I'd be out there investigating right now. Yes, but there are other more qualified people who can investigate instead, like the Invisible Man, for example. <laughs> I still can't believe it. Hmm? Hey, I'm in here! Oh, sorry. I, I didn't know you were home. I was just bringing you back your video book on breeding pink arctic beetles. It was awesome. Oh, by the way, I never realized you were such a beefcake. Although, you should get out in the sun more. You're so pale. Yeah? That's all we needed. Ouch! And you don't know what made it happen? I suppose. What? During the fight at the Institute, I remember I was holding the meteorite and I suddenly felt kind of queasy. That's why I couldn't stop Reflexia from getting away. How could it have affected me like that? Hmm, 
I'm thinking that if the meteorite can take away your power, it can probably take away his, too. It's only natural for Morton to want to analyze it. That reflexia is just a go-between. So I think you'd better start investigating at the Institute. Why would I do that? Well, come on, Alan, to find the meteorite. That's a job for the Invisible Man, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the Invisible Man. Of course. There's just one little problem. From now on, I'm not the Invisible Man anymore. Sorry, Gina. It's just that now that I'm visible, there's not much that I can do for Magnopolis. I'm not invisible anymore. <laughs> back to real life. Yeah, back to real life. No, oh, oh. the call the cops. Stop me! Stop me! Somebody help me! Find me! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you listening? Huh? I was saying that I thought it was nice of you to take me out to dinner. It's been a long time since you... Well, you know, today marks a new beginning. Tonight, I feel free. Elinda, I have something to tell you. Yeah, yeah, me too. I've been uh, thinking about the stolen meteorite, and I may have an idea about where to start my investigation, but I'm gonna need your help. I cannot do it alone, you know. Please, Linda, this is important. I have to tell you that... Uh huh? I'm sorry. <gasps> what? You're right. We're having a wonderful evening, and I'm chewing your ear off with my investigation. Mm. For once, women can finally be alone. I'm all ears. I, I really need to wash my hands. Alan, you're sure you're okay? Yeah, I just remembered I've got something urgent to do. I, uh, I'll call you. Alan? <laughs> there is nothing funny about this. <laughs> Sorry, Ellen, it's too rich. You realize I had to run out on Linda in the middle of dinner. Things couldn't get worse. She's gonna hate me. Trust me, things could be worse. You almost went invisible in the middle of the restaurant. Talk about goodbye secret oh. identity. Oh. I see you, Photon. Where were we? Oh, oh, oh. oh, right. In any case, we know the effect of the meteorite is only temporary. And if I had a sample of it, I might be able to analyze its radiation. A good idea. But now that it's disappeared, yeah. The Invisible Man has to go get it back. Alan, who knows what Opacus wants to do with the meteorite? What if he discovers the secret of invisibility? Can you imagine? He'd be invincible. On the other hand, if I discover the secret... You'll finally win a Nobel Prize. I was gonna say that then you could control your invisibility, and even if you fought Opacus, at least you could lead a normal life. Hmm. Oh, I uh, hadn't thought of that. Sorry, Gina. Guess this is a job for the Invisible Man. Unless Linda kills him first, that is. Yeah, you're right. Guess I'd better go and apologize to her. I will never forgive him for this. How could he do such a thing to me? He just left me sitting there in the middle of the restaurant. Linda, calm down. You're not going to solve anything by getting mad. And on top of that, my investigation seems to be going nowhere. This morning, I went to see Chief of Police Westwood, and he still has nothing new to report. So all I can do now is hope I will find something at the newspaper and magazine library. Are you investigating that Reflexia character? Yes. For the moment, I'm kind of desperately scanning all the research that's ever been done on light reflection. Mary, it's incredible. A few years ago at the Magna Foundry, they managed to get some spectacular results on luminous frequencies and reflection as the keys to material transposition. And oh, take a look at this. It's weird. The owner of the Magna Foundry himself announced some months later that they were abandoning their studies despite all their success due to problems that had occurred during their experiments. And later the owner's daughter disappeared and hasn't been seen ever since. You think that might have something to do with your investigation? The owner's no longer alive and his daughter hasn't been heard from since. Why would they abandon a multi-million dollar research like that? But Linda... I'm gonna have a look at the Magna Foundry. I'll bet I'll find something. Hmm, poor girl. I think that blow to the head affected her. Federal Technical Verification Agency? That's right. It's a, a, a body that's in charge of problems, uh, security problems, that is, uh, concerning the fitting of certain building materials, like um, mirrors, for example. It says in our files that your installations have a large quantity of this type of materials. Is that correct? Uh, oh, yes, that's correct. I'm in charge of checking that they um, conform to regulation standards, as uh, set out by the Constitutional Recommendations uh, Bureau. 
Oh, well, if it's constitutional, go ahead. Uh, that type of material is located mainly in the industrial foundry department, lowest underground level. Thank you. I'm going to carry out the inspection immediately. Uh, see you later. Bye. Tell me, do you have any idea where Linda might have gone? Yeah, I know where she went, and the truth is, I'm worried. She's investigating the theft of the meteorite, isn't she? She was looking into the experiments on light reflection, and she thinks she put her finger on something. I just hope she hasn't gotten into trouble again. I'd better tell you everything. This would be the perfect hideout for Reflexia. So, you Miss huh? Nosy. Oh! I don't believe it. You still haven't found Reflexia's hideout? We've always contacted her by computer, but it seems that's not possible now. Are you telling me we're not going to find her? No. No, sir. I'm just saying it won't be easy. Look, Reflexia is hiding somewhere in Magnopolis. I want you to find her, and I want it now. Understand? We'll double our efforts, sir. <clears throat> I need that meteorite before that invisible trash sticks his nose in my business and ruins everything. Surprise! You already tried to take the meteorite away from me once. Don't you ever give up? I, I think I know who you are. A few years ago in this foundry, they were studying how materials could be transposed through reflected light. And that's exactly the power you possess. You're the missing daughter of the owner of this factory, aren't you? All my father did was work for the welfare of humanity. He also did his best to keep me safely away from his dangerous experiments. But I was young, and I pried where I shouldn't have. It was my own fault I became what I am. That's why they abandoned the research. They couldn't reverse the effects of the accident that made you who you are. You're nothing but a dirty little snoop. Just what I needed. I detest snoops. This is my hideout, and I must see that my secret never makes it out of here. No, wait. <laughs> Sorry, state property. Oh. Surprise! The invisible man again, but how? You won't find it quite so easy this time. Uh. Don't worry, miss, I'll save you. Oh, it's a tie, invisible man. You haven't won yet. The invisible man? That's right. I... No, oh, no, I'm becoming visible again. Do something, I have to do something, an idea, quick! Huh? Uh -huh. What? Yes, Photon, that's it! Your lava bath awaits you. No! Oh, not again! Not so fast, Reflexia. You really think you're going to stop me? When you're visible, your reflection is a sitting duck. Huh? Well done, Photon. Mm. Uh. 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 <laughs> Three mirrors. That's 21 years bad luck, Reflexia. What a shame. Oh. With this meteorite, I'm more powerful than you, more powerful than everybody! We'll soon see about that! Whoa! Ooh. You can do nothing! This is the original door! My father's experiments have made me invincible! Oh no! Not the screen! The meteorite is dissolving it! Oh. Oh.
You haven't heard the last of me, Invisible Man. <laughs> Mr. Invisible, I'd like to tell you how grateful I am for... I mean, you helped me again. At least you didn't abandon me. Abandon you? <laughs> what? Did I say something? For Linda, I'm invisible when I'm Alan. Come on, Photon. <laughs> You know what? My life as Alan is a total disaster. Let's go home. Yeah. Sir, if the meteorite has been destroyed, I guess that means you miserably failed, my dear Reflexia. I'm sorry. It was all the Invisible Man's fault. I don't want to hear it. Your excuses are of no use to me. Your mission was to steal and safeguard the meteorite until I could study it. But you failed, so you can forget about your money. You know what? It's just too bad the meteorite was destroyed, because the Invisible Man could have used it against you, Morton, and I would have loved to see that. Really? In oh. total darkness, you can't be reflective! And now you're about oh. to experience the power of Opaca's Lord of Darkness! Don't! Don't even try to follow me! You see, I kept this small piece for self-defense. I figured you couldn't get the rock yourself because it affected you, too. What do you want? We must go our separate ways, Morton. Do not pursue me. You're the one who owes me! So we'll be seeing one another again! The meteorite, which was stolen yesterday from the Scientific Research Institute, has still not been found. This is Sid Network reporting. Venezuelan tree frogs produce a highly toxic substance that Indians use to make poison for their arrows. Cool. Alan, you did what you had to do. I know, but if I'd had more time, I could have saved a piece of the meteorite before it was destroyed, and you could have done some experiments on it. In a few hours, the effects will have worn off again. I guess I'll be the invisible man for a while longer. Hmm. <sighs> Linda, Be I... quiet. Alan, the last thing I want is for you to be scared of me. So I forgive you. And tonight you can take me out to dinner if you like. Don't say a word. I... I... Okay. I'll be right back. I've just got to get a sweater. Hmm. Just for once, could you dress as something other than Alan? Uh, what was that you said? Hmm. Nothing. Let's go. Don't you worry, Tina. This time I've put on my mask and gloves. Sorry, Alan, what did you say? Uh, nothing, but shall we? Hmm. 